Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Zhang from Renmin Hospital of Wuhan University. I will present a case study entitled Orthodontic Treatment with Clear Aligners for Patient with Chronic Periodontitis. This case report describes the treatment of a 24-year-old female patient with a history of periodontal disease. Class 1 malocclusion with intrusion, dental species, and pathologic tooth migration. The patient was treated with clear aligners. CBCT allows us to see that the maxillary central incisors and the mandibular incisors showed severe lingual inclination. Multiple sites of alveolar bone resorption were observed especially in the anterior and premolar areas. Available resorption in the massive and distal region of the maxillary left lateral incisor was extensive, involving half to two-thirds of the root. At the end of the treatment with a liner 28, we compared the final tooth position with a blind tooth moment. The results show that the leveling of the bimaxillary arch had almost been completed. The spaces had been closed, and the deep bite had been corrected. After 22 months of orthodontic treatment, the massive inclination of the maxillary left lateral incisor was improved, but not corrected. We made additional adjustments for the patient, but she was very pleased with the treatment after and refused to continue wearing the adjustment appliances. Sound periodontal support was maintained in the mandibular left first and second premolars and even improved after orthodontic treatment. The most notable cephalometric changes were the labial tipping and intrusion of the maxillary central incisors and the mandibular incisors. The position of the anterior incisors in the basal bone was improved. Deep overbites are generally corrected by anterior intrusion, which include relative intrusion and some actual intrusion. The relative intrusion of anterior teeth was gained through the liberal inclination of the maxillary central incisors and the mandibular incisors. It's easier to control the extent of the liberal movement of the maxillary central incisors by clear aligners instead of using a fixed orthodontic appliance. We improved the torque of the maxillary central incisors step by step and evaluate the relationship between the axial inclination of the maxillary incisors and the leaf position in a timely manner. Functional and aesthetic outcomes were achieved after orthodontic and prosthetic treatment. The harmony between the arc of the maxillary incisors and the mandibular leaf resulted in a perfect smile. No more object and overbite were established with better talk. This figure showed blocking out the anchors and trimming the line of the aligners. Blue means anchor areas between the teeth that need to be eliminated. Orange means anchor areas around what you are pointing for the right maxillary canine in each aligner need to be blocked out. The death line is the boundary of the aligners. This design is applied gentle force when inserting and removing the aligners to protect the periodontal tissues. Conclusions First, overbite opening in this patient resulted from primary proclination of the inclined incisors and the intrusion of anterior incisors. Second, orthodontic treatment with clear aligners might be better recommended for patients with controlled chronic
scrolled on edges. Thank you for your addition. You can find this article in the Career Journal of Orthodontics, November 2022 issue.